What is the most uncomfortable you have ever made a player feel? I once made three players cry by bringing back an NPC from an earlier campaign. Only now about 30 years older and very senile. <laughs> oh, that's almost sad. So it is. Oh. I, I think I would be sad seeing like, you know, an old NPC that I really <laughs> enjoyed like, you know, in tatters, you know. It's not nice to see them Ooh. in the bed. <laughs> I started to flirt with the GM and told him he would look cuter as a girl. I regret nothing. <laughs> I had my lizard man turn into a lizard her- for night and f- the rogue in front of a captive bandit. The players had been gradually leaving one by one because because of f- like this. <laughs> oh Jesus! I got better. <laughs> well, at least you learned his, his ways. You know what I mean. I used to run a masoerotic freeform role plays on My Little Pony forum, where people signed up essentially to be brutalized in game. I even employed the invisible Ooh. goals from Penny Arcade. What are invisible? Goals? I don't want to look it up. I don't I'm know. Like I don't know what Penny Arcade is, but I know what Penny Arcade is. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, see when it comes to like anything, My Little Pony, pure cringe. Yeah. Pure, absolute cringe. I don't even know if they still exist anymore. I think they all got absorbed by the furry community. Yeah, they are, they're all one now. Yeah. During a gladiator arena game, I went into detail about the combat, trying to make it as gross and visceral as possible. Head wounds would often end up in vomiting or seizures. Players would see the aftermath of their fights, which eventually led to some of them trying to subdue their opponents rather than outright kill or maim them. One of the players contacted me and asked if the level of detail I was going into was really necessary. I said, yes it is. Maybe not for you, but for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, at least he's honest about it. You know, I think a lot of people do forget how dulled down, like how movies and stuff have really like brought down the level of violence that it yeah. actually is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, let's be honest, when you stab someone, it's a lot more brutal than yeah. what it is in a movie. Yeah. Like- I had to play an RPG session for all the girlfriends of our group. They insisted on it since their girlfriends wanted to know what their boyfriends were doing every other weekend. This was two decades ago since back then a relationship and sex were still hip. (laughs) Anyways, we played Mage the Ascension. I had the girls make a normal mage and explain their powers to them. No heavy roles play. I did most of the mechanics. They decided to make themselves. I obviously told my own girlfriend not to do this or join the session. They were also friends. So, how did it go? The women were all vile, sexist, ripping and torturing insane girls. After two bottles of wine, they just went with it. After realising they could do everything, they just let loose and started what can only be described as a complete shit show of how far we can push this. Killing innocents, ripping men, a complete pop. What? What were they giving them? Oh, I don't know. They put most Nefandi to shame. I kept encouraging them and described every horrid detail at length. It was amazing. There is a lesson to be learned here about being a horrible DM, especially to new people in the hobby. But damn, that Ooh. was hilarious. Be honest with you, like they were only looking at the Ooh. they kind of just wanted to know what it was all about. I know. And like you know, let them, let them, just let, let, let them, them go fucking. Off. It's only going to be a one shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like the pen seriously. Yeah. Or they're probably ever going to like really get yeah. into it. You know what like, I mean? Whenever he says the women were all vile, sexist, f***ing and torturing insane f- I can honestly say from experience that the f- women talk about is far worse than what men talk yeah, about. Yeah, I think it probably is. Much, much more degenerate anyway. Yeah, much no it more, is. Yeah, by far, by far. In reply to the other fellow's story, somebody wrote, Women in specifically evil campaigns are f***ing terrifying. Lobotomized a minotaur and dragged him along to r- captives. So much castration and mutilation. Convinced villages to send over young boys from time to time in exchange for not being raided would torture, rape and mutilate them for a few days before they got bored and left them on the side of the road or fed them to animals. They didn't even have greater goals or objectives. They were just rapists, thieves and murderers. Jesus Christ, like, you know... <laughs> Oh, that's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> no, anything. I was like, oh, fuck, all right, okay. Whatever you guys are into, I suppose. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just want to talk to you about our new affiliate, Reroll. Reroll is a D&D 5th edition character builder app. Now, everyone needs a character sheet app for a tabletop game, but what makes Reroll stand out above all the rest 
is its character art. I personally find the character art really, really cool. It has this beautiful retro pixel art aesthetic and they are continually adding new races and items so you can customise it whatever way you want. They currently have 14 supported races, over 150 weapons and over 400 pieces of armour you can mix and match from to really make your character come to life. And the best part, you can have your own little cute companion like a little baby penguin, a flying kitty, a stupid looking pug or my personal favourite, a little corgi. And the best thing about Reroll, it has a free version with limited character art so you can try before you buy and see if you like it or not. We personally think it's an amazing app that will just improve your overall enjoyment of tabletop role-playing games. Reroll is on Apple, Android, desktop and if you use our coupon code NECKBEARDY at checkout you get 10% off. It's a great affiliate that we think you guys will love but enough of that, let's get back to the video killed off a player character in the exact same way that his IRL dad was crippled. He failed the role. I failed my friend. Just wasn't thinking about it at the time. Fuck. That's, that's brutal. <laughs> that is brutal. I'm, I'm going to assume he did it by accident that he didn't actually think it through. Or did he know? <laughs> well, see, that's the yeah, thing. Like if, he did, if he did, that's pretty horrible, <laughs> no. let's be honest with you. If this was a cheap thread, you would not be forgiven. For no. Sins. Now this one has COC in it, and any time I see a story with COC, I say Call of Cthulhu, and people in the comments are like, no, it's not that one. So this one is now Clash of Clans, okay? So you know, the shitty mobile game. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what we're going to call it. Anything in, with COC is now Just Clash of Clans. Clans. In a Clash of Clans one shot on a submarine, one of my player characters got claustrophobia. So I did a whole blurb about the moment where it kicked in, talking about how the submarine was suddenly very small and how the entire ocean's pressure was squeezing it even smaller. He only told me later that he actually was claustrophobic and I actually had made him deeply unnerved. But as that was the point of the horror RPG, it was great. Well, if it's a horror <laughs> look, you made, RPG, him, you made him scared. Yeah, yeah look, that's, uh, look, I find it very hard to be scared by, uh, by a tabletop game, you know what I mean? So being able to achieve that, I think that's pretty good one. This was terribly mean of me, but this was how it played out with my college group. I want to seduce the widow. Sure, what do you say? Dead silence. You could hear a pin drop. There was a long, unbearable moment as I stared at the player, and the others actually began to stare too. Can I just roll for it? Later. Exactly what do you tell her? More silence. Then. You, your, your hair and eyes look really pretty in the moonlight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's okay, come on here. Get... I couldn't help it. I laughed. And the rest of the table laughed too. The kind of nervous, did I just fucking hear that kind of laughter of a childhood humiliation. I laughed for a bit, then went, Phew, okay, let's take a break here. We can roll later. I went for a piss break, and when I came back, the player said, Can I take that back? I don't want to suggest her. <laughs> Usually, I'm a no take backs GM. But I just said, yeah, that's probably for the best. But at this point, the damage had been done. And the other PCs, whenever a female NPC showed up, kept asking if he wanted to try and seduce her. I felt bad, but not that bad. <laughs> ah, fuck it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Me and my mates got fed up with some greasy fucker that kept touching stuff without asking first. And yet kept getting upset about racist jokes. About shit that had nothing to do with race. Like the Vietnam War. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right. Talking to him about it failed, so me and a Colombian mate in the same group with dark skin and lots of tattoos kept yelling racial slurs at each other during games for a couple of weekends until eventually the fat fuckers stopped coming back, probably fearful that would incite race riots or that his own innate racism made him afraid some cartel would drag us off into the night. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody liked him anyway. His shit was bland and I think he just started going to magic nights instead. What a fucking <laughs> I couldn't be down with it. You know what I mean? Like, see what people that like, like, claim racism out of everything. Oh, I, 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 I'm, I'm not in the mood. I'm not listening to you. I'm sorry to say, I don't care. You know what yeah. I mean? I've done it a few times playing Little Fears. First one was set in a hospital with the players playing kids who got injured. Their parents left them to sleep alone at said hospital. It was only then that they noticed no nurses were walking the halls. Well, except for the one nurse with plastic skin who smells of char. And the man in the hospital gown 
with a scrunched up face like a raisin. Both pretty creepy but not outwardly hostile. But as I turned off the lights in the room, with only a single red bulb to light their roles and character sheets, they encountered the tether, a being compromised of electrical wires that grabbed you and pulled you into the ceiling. But the better one was the session with the black eyed kids. One player was home with a babysitter. They hear a knock at the door and encounter an older boy and a younger girl. They ask if they could use the phone as they were lost. But as they talked, the player noticed their eyes turn black. This spooked them into hiding in their room. They heard the kids talking on the phone, but when they used the other landline, they realised the kids hadn't even dialed anyone. What really got the players was when they met up. I would interrupt their planning by knocking on the table. Sometimes it was just the pizza guy, and other times it was the black-eyed kids, and sometimes it was just the wind. It was a fun session, would recommend. I'm hoping to run a session once Rona gets done, where one of the players gets a new little sister, only their sister grows up really quickly and looks exactly like them, and their parents start treating her better than them. I think that'll be an amazingly creepy session. I, I really want to play I that game. I, I really want to. Oh, I I'd love to be a, D, a GM in that. Yeah. I could do some really fucking creepy shit. Yeah, no, I would. I'd love, love to play that. See, the problem is, I, I'd never. I haven't even heard of that. Little no. fear. I'll need. I'll need to look into that. That's actually completely new to me. If any of you guys have played it, definitely let us know down below because that yeah, actually sounds like it really, sounds really it fucking sounds like good. A system that I think definitely is worth checking out. You know what I mean? I was part of a bit of an online session where the game's antagonist had temporarily controlled all but one of the party members and started making them say threatening things directed towards the last player without showing any signs that they knew what was going on. Like they were telling her she was going to suffer while looking like they were in the middle of a pleasant conversation. We didn't know that player was kind of fucked in the head and was scared shitless that these were actual hallucinations manifesting on their computer screens they were having until after we finished. It was weird, but hey, it was supposed to be spooky. Well, I suppose it was supposed to be spooky. Supposed to, uh, that's, spooky. that sounds pretty good, to be yeah. honest with you. Honestly, I, think, I feel like I've never really been to grief. Oh, okay, I've been disgusted. Yeah, I've been, definitely I, I've, been disgusted. I've been disgusted, but I've never been like really creeped out or freaked out at all. I really like the idea of that I, game. I, I, I think I would. I would. Lo- I would. I, really I would love. I would love to definitely give a horror RPG a go. I would love to. Do I, I think it would be a lot of fun. I, I, I right up my fucking yeah, street. I, I I'd think, love to GM it. I think you would have a lot of fun doing it. To be honest with you, yeah. if any of you guys have ever played anything like this, definitely let us know down below. If you've ever like you know freaked any card like any of your players out, or if you've been freaked out, if we get enough of good ones we might make a video on it we'll just see um honestly there's a lot of stuff in here i would love to try but i just feel like i've never been yeah. given i feel like i've never been given the opportunity to and i feel like i'm missing out in some weird way she perform you know yeah but uh look you let us know what you thought down below you know check out the links all that other stuff and uh we'll see you later bye